Battery storage is the enabler of the energy transition. Some people say that sodium batteries will be the hope of the future, while others say that this is a technology scam. What is going on? Will sodium batteries replace existing lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries? How efficient are sodium ion batteries? What is this EV battery breakthrough promise that has been going around? Are you curious? Strap in and hold on tight as I give you the full gist. All you have to do is watch the entire video, leave a comment with your greatest takeaway, like, share and lastly subscribe. So without further ado, let's get started. Done? Let's move. The news of sodium ion battery has come into our field of vision, setting off another wave of craze in the electric vehicle battery industry. Despite the fact that electric cars, commercial vehicles and e-bikes are gaining popularity, their restricted ranges, expensive prices, inefficient charging infrastructure and resource-intensive battery production are slowing down the transition. Batteries must become even more powerful, durable, ecological and cost-effective in order to be widely used in electric vehicles. Companies are producing safer, cheaper and higher density batteries without mining rare earth minerals like cobalt and nickel which is an environmentally harmful commercial activity, and without emitting other dangerous chemicals, sodium is a superior alternative. We know that the competition to develop new EV battery technology is already on, and the reward might be an invention that reduces the price and expands the usage of EVs. The two current frontrunners are solid state batteries, which have the potential to be smaller, lighter, and more powerful, and lithium ion batteries, which are often used in computers and mobile phones. Ha, huh, we know that. Anyway, both technologies offer benefits and drawbacks, and it is yet unclear which one will win out in the long run. The battle is escalating though, as major automakers and battery producers pour billions of dollars into R&D. EV batteries have been the subject of some reasonable worry, despite the fact that they are thought of as cleaner alternatives to petroleum-based cars. We know that the most widely used lithium ion battery pack is not the greenest. On the other side, the clean energy movement is focusing on developing more environmentally friendly battery technology. The sodium ion battery has become the most popular since it is less costly and more ecologically friendly. Although cheap and readily available, sodium's poor battery performance has limited its employment. A research team from the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory of the Department of Energy has announced a breakthrough though. It claims to have created a sodium ion battery with a considerably longer lifespan in lab tests. The research provides a viable formula for storing solar energy as well as utilizing batteries in the EV business. A sodium ion battery that was recently developed by a research team from the Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory tested substantially longer in the lab, thanks to a creative modification in the parts that make up the liquid core of the battery, performance issues that beset sodium-based batteries are now avoided. The study, which appeared in the journal Nature Energy, provides a promising recipe for a battery that might one day be used to store solar energy and power electric vehicles. We have shown in theory that sodium ion batteries have the potential to be a long-lasting and ecologically friendly battery technology here. According to Jason Zhang, a lead author from PNNL and inventor of more than 23 energy storage patents, said, Here we have demonstrated in principle that sodium ion batteries have the potential to be a long-lasting and environmentally benign battery technology. The right salt electrolyte serves as the battery's circulating blood, which keeps the energy moving. The electrolyte, which flows between the positive and negative electrodes as charged ions, is made by dissolving salts in solvents. With time, the electrochemical processes that keep the energy flowing grow slowly, making it impossible for the battery to recharge. Modern sodium ion batteries go through this process far more quickly than lithium ion batteries of comparable size. The PNNL team, led by scientists Yang Jin and Fong Li, overcame that difficulty by altering the liquid solution and the type of salt flowing through it and created an altogether new electrolyte composition. More than most sodium ion batteries had previously reported, the innovative design maintained 90% of its cell capacity after 300 cycles at 4.2V. In a lab, the durability was evaluated. The sodium ions battery's present electrolyte mix causes the protective coating on the negative end, the anode, to disintegrate over time. 
This film is crucial because it allows sodium ions to get through while preserving battery life. The PNNL design technology works by stabilizing this protective covering. The positive pole, the cathode, which is protected by an exceedingly thin protective layer made by the novel electrolyte, also contributes to the overall stability of the device. Using non-flammable technology, the new sodium ion technology created by PNNL uses a naturally fire extinguishing solution that is also resistant to temperature fluctuations and able to function at high voltages. A key element of this feature is the very thin protective layer that forms on the anode. This very thin layer, once created, keeps its stability and provides the extended cycle life mentioned in the research report. Fung Li, a battery chemist at PNNL and one of the study's primary authors, said, We also assessed the formation of gas vapor at the cathode. Very little gas production was discovered. This offers fresh perspectives on how to create a stable electrolyte for sodium ion batteries that can function in hot environments. Sodium ion technology currently has a lower energy density than lithium. However, it also has characteristics such as stability, long cycle life, and tolerance to temperature variations that are helpful for applications in light duty electric cars and potentially grid energy storage in the future. The research team is still trying to make improvements to its layout. Lee claims that the group is experimenting with alternative designs to reduce and ultimately eliminate the need for cobalt, which is poisonous and pricey if not recovered or repurposed. Because of the chemical properties of the parts that make up sodium ion batteries, they offer a low cost, secure, and as we've previously said, sustainable energy storage solution. Due to all of these features, this technology is especially well suited for the storage of renewable energy. The qualities of lithium ion batteries are ideal for use in electric cars. One of the major problems with sodium batteries is the need to expand the component market. Two or three suppliers globally are now accountable for transforming this raw material and providing it with the appropriate format for the battery industry. The European company e is now one of the key players in the salt processing sector in Europe, but where it is bought is in Asian marketplaces. As a result, for this technology to be industrialized in Europe, more and better European friends must create sodium that is battery grade. It is obvious that the more alternatives there are, the easier it will be for them to work together to supply demand given the predicted high demand for energy. Despite the optimistic statements made recently by international corporations that are currently working on them, it will take more study to determine how completely complementary sodium ion battery technologies are to lithium ion based technologies. As a result, highly competitive solutions capable of satiating the growing market need in the many applications will be created. As seen in the graphic below, the two technologies' complementary nature is encouraging. Given the development of sodium ion technologies and their industrialization, sodium batteries may be able to go where lithium batteries cannot, and vice versa. The world may very well run out of resources if our recycling and repurposing systems are not sufficiently sorted out in the next few years. The battery pack of an electric vehicle generally holds 10 kilograms of lithium. According to PV Magazine, there will be 3 billion electric cars on the road by 2040 and the 26 million tonnes of lithium that are now available will have practically all been used up. It is also difficult to extract, necessitating a significant amount of energy that is carbon intensive and harmful to the environment. Isn't that interesting? Of course it is, now let's move on. What are the differences between lithium and sodium batteries? The key differences between lithium and sodium batteries would be in terms of performance, temperature range, cost and safety. In that case, Sodium ion batteries are a great option. However, several types of research are on the way to concluding sodium batteries are more environmentally friendly than lithium, and the current evidence is not enough to have the final say. Will sodium batteries completely replace lithium ion batteries? Keeping in mind the abundance of sodium and its favorable chemical properties, one cannot look away from the greater chances of sodium replacing lithium ion batteries as a cheaper and more environmentally friendly solution. And if it happens, sodium ions will cut the cost of replacing lithium ion cells by almost half. However, sodium batteries cannot completely replace lithium ion batteries, and they are not suitable for applications with high energy density requirements, such as mobile phones, laptops, marine batteries, and so on. 
What are your thoughts on sodium ion batteries? Tell us in the comments section below. This concludes the video for today. For the most recent information on the EV sector, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. Additionally, ring the bell to ensure that you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. Have a great day and I'll see you in the following video. Check out these great sites if you enjoy ours.